So, Mr. Fisher, all your test results. Logan. Never mind the mister. Just call me Logan. Right. Excuse me. Um, so, Logan, all your test results checked out. Your vitals are looking good. We are ready to proceed if you are. Well, at least I got my health. Let me explain to you how this study will work. Today, you'll be given a drug that will prevent you from sleeping. You will go without sleep for 16 days. During this time, your vitals will be closely monitored. You will also have routine psychological evaluations. If at any time during the course of this study, you start to feel overwhelmed, suicidal, or have hallucinations, we urge you to just charge yourself from the study. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. Show for check-ins, don't sleep. If shit gets too real, I fail. <laughs> Show me where to sign, Doc. Please read each page, sign, and initial at the bottom. You ready to begin, Mr. Fisher? ready as I can be. If there are no further questions, you can head back to your dormitory. Uh, one of my staff will be in tonight to check vitals. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Fisher? Any changes? Uh, no. Um, all good here. Just living the dream. expecting a roommate. Yeah, these doctors, they never really tell you anything until they actually do it, huh? Name's Bucky. Bucky Fisher. Did you say your last name is Fisher? Yeah, what? That's my last name. Huh. <laughs> Look at that. The Fisherman. Rooming together. Hey, you like a smoke? Uh, yeah. How are you feeling today, Logan? Your vitals are looking good. Any changes? Uh, nothing much to report. Feeling pretty out of it. Keep seeing waves in the painting. Honestly, I think my roommate's doing a lot better than I am. Kids got lots of energy. Waves in a painting? What painting? What about the painting, Logan? Logan? Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Just been watching too much TV, probably. Are we, are we good here? Almost. Um, did you mention something about a roommate? Yeah, you know, the kid, Bucky. He's got lots of energy for being without sleep for the past five days. Logan, there are no roommates in the study. Each participant is assigned their own room. Part of what we're studying is your response to isolation. Well, somebody must have missed the memo on that one. 
There's been a young guy in my room for the past four days. Check the records. I will look into it. Just remember, you're to report any adverse experiences, and this includes hallucinations. Doc, if I start seeing shit, you'll be the first to know. I'll check and go. Hmm, okay. The doctor keeps treating me like I'm going crazy. Keeps asking me these stupid questions. God, I cannot wait for this to be over. Just say that again, brother. Say, how about a game of cards? Yeah, sounds great. All right. Texas? Yes. The motor shop. Yeah, I mean, after Europe. Was Europe cool? I've always wanted to travel there. No, 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 no. T-Birds are overrated and you know it. It was just Greece that made them popular. You need to get out of here with that no, talk. It, <laughs> I'm serious. Get out. Oh, gotta finish this debate later. Gotta go see the doc. Yeah, you got lucky chump. <laughs> what have you got for me today, doc? Logan, we have a serious situation on our hands. Some of my floor staff have overheard you talking to someone in your room for the last week or so. Damn it, have we been too loud? That kid really gets me going when we start talking about hot rods. <laughs> we will try to keep it down. Logan, this is very serious. I'm gonna need you to return to your room and wait for a full evaluation. We need to determine if you're capable of finishing the study. Finish the study. Doc, I'm almost done. I need the fucking money. Logan, return to your room and wait for my staff. You got you waiting for an evaluation. Hey, what do you say we get out of here, huh? I know this great spot, we could get a drink. Thank you.